Hello, sweet souls. Happy Monday, July 19th. Still running my July specials. Also, I'm still doing the free uh, reading giveaway on YouTube. If you subscribe, like, and comment on the videos, it's mid-month and end of month. Um, so today I asked um, Spirit, what can we do to manifest um, what we're wanting in our future reality in the 3D world? What can we do? So, they're saying first off, you need to follow your own dreams and passions. You need to self-reflect. Find out what it is inside of you that feels um, a deficit, inadequate in any way, um, so that you can release it. And then, you know, be committed to what it is that you're passionate about. Be open to receive the opportunities the divine is giving you. So, being open to receive. Releasing any toxic behaviors. This can be toxic patterns. This can be addictions. Um, anything that isn't for your greater good, we need to release it. <sighs> know that you're worthy of divine love. Open yourself up to a soul union and know that you are worthy. You are ready to receive. You are worthy. Also... Set boundaries. You want equal give and take. You need to project out into the universe that your future um, relationship will be equal. It will be balanced. See it as if it's already there. Stand in your truth and integrity. Don't back down. Don't make excuses. Um, definitely stand up for what it is that you know is right for you. You know, the divine wants you to know you are worthy of love. It doesn't matter what happened in the past, what you desire, your complete happiness and a re loving relationship, you have to know that you are worthy of it, that it's already yours. Um, that's really what they're trying to say here. Self-love, acceptance, surrendering control to the universe and allowing the universe to bring in to your life in the 3D world what it is you desire, your wish fulfillment. Your wishes can come true. It's not just a dream. It's something that um, is already yours. It just hasn't manifested into the 3D world, but in the 5D world, it's already yours. You have to believe that. Get out of your head. Quit feeling stuck or confused about your path. You need to decide what it is you want in your life and go after it. If the relationship that you want is not in the 3D world yet, assume it's already yours. Accept, be open, but you can't be wishy-washy about what it is you want. You have to be very clear with the universe what it is you want. You want a committed, loving, um, equal relationship with someone that's honest, loyal, and devoted. Speak it. Yeah, your divine partner is already with you in the 5D. And you just have to be open to receive this passionate new beginning that's coming. You just have to allow it to come into your life and accept it when it does. Of course, you're setting boundaries, but you're being open and you're, you're ready to receive this passionate new beginning in your life. You know, work on yourself. Whatever area of your life that you feel like you could do better, work on it. Don't sit and just um, say negative things about yourself. Take action and do what it is that's going to make you feel more empowered and feel better about yourself. Manifest, okay? And, you know, this has come out a lot. When you daydream, like before bed, it's almost like you, you transport yourself into a future reality. And it's so detailed. Because you're seeing, say you're, you're daydreaming about a love. You're seeing yourself with this person. You are imagining things that you're doing. There's so much emotion attached to a daydream. It, it gives power to the manifestation without you even knowing it. It gives it power. Um, and that's what you need when you manifest, okay?
You know, a lot of you have been in marriages that went wrong and you feel like you will never ever have that type of union again. And that this is a negative mindset. The divine wants you to know you will have a divine union, but you have to stop feeling sorry for yourself. You have to stop living in the past, living in what happened that was so painful and so devastating and understand it wasn't for you. But what is for you is coming, okay? It is. And you just have to release whatever unions you had in the past that didn't serve you. You have to release it so that you can make room for the new to come in. Okay, guys? You know, being willing to take a leap of faith. Um, when you trust the universe and you're manifesting, okay, you have to be willing to take that leap of faith, even if you're afraid. You meet someone, you're not sure if they're the one. If you're setting your boundaries, you're loving yourself and in your power, take the leap of faith, okay? Just do it. Yes, allow past cycles to end so that a new beautiful cycle can begin. One that is in alignment with you so the divine can give you this manifestation that you've been asking for. Whether it's love, financial gain, whatever it is, okay guys? Trust in the divine. Surrender control. You know, you can't uh, surrender control and still try to control the outcome. Let go of the outcome. Give it to the divine. Say, I accept. I surrender control. Whatever it is that's a barrier to you, you need to surrender to the divine and truly surrender it and allow it to unfold the way it's supposed to. Live in the moment, every day, in the moment, showing gratitude to the divine and being open. You know, a lot of you have had players in your past, okay? You have. So you're, you have afraid of intimacy because you're afraid this person is just going to play you. The divine is saying you can't have that mindset. You have to release that. You have to let that end so that divine love can come in, okay? Just because someone was a player in your past, you're not the same person, guys. You have to project the energy of who you are now. You can't keep living in the same energy that you were in and expect a different result. You have to be in it. the energy that you are now. You're empowered. You're strong. You love yourself. You have boundaries. You know what it is you want moving forward. So stop living in that past energy, okay? You know, accept when you have tower moments in your life, it's out of love, okay? It's, it's for you to learn. So when the divine brings tower moments into your life, it's only because they love you because they want you to be able to receive all that you're desiring, everything you're manifesting. So, roll with the punches, okay? Yes, you know, not everything is gonna be butterflies and rainbows. Sometimes things aren't gonna go right, but you need to look at it from a different perspective. It's an opportunity for you to learn, to get back on the path you need to be on, to receive your manifestation, okay? It's out of love, guys. Listen to your intuition as well. The divine has given you that gift for a reason. It's so that they can guide you, okay? It's like you're guiding light, guys. Listen to your heart and soul. Yes, gravitate toward peaceful situations, okay? You wanna manifest this beautiful new beginning in your life? Stay away from conflict, okay? Don't entertain conflict. Always search for inner peace, peace within yourself, being grounded, and in a peaceful state because that's going to bring in the manifestation to you into the 3d world that's already yours guys already yours the ten of pentacles the greatest loving relationship you could ever imagine and it's already written in the stars it's already written in the stars for you you just have to be open to receive it and know your worth know your worth surrender control of the divine and accept Accept each day as it comes, filled with love and gratitude to the divine, and it's already yours. It's coming, guys. You just have to be open to receive it, okay? I hope this reading helped. It was definitely different than the, most of my readings. You are the empress. Man or woman, you are in your power. Stop living in the past, guys. Stop, stop embodying that same person that you were when you were hurt. You're not that person anymore. 
That person's dead and gone, okay? I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.